Okay, so now the next thing on the, on the checking is what happens if he goes here, right? So he's going this direction. We already established that we're gonna check at the elbow. But when he goes here, what do we do? We're again, we're not following his hand, right? So if you notice, right foot forward, sir. Right when he, no, face me. Put your right foot right here. There you go, right? When he's, when he's here, if he decides to draw his right arm back, this goes out this way. It's coming in this way, right? So from here, again, what do I say? Go to the golden zone. Come out this direction and then strike this way, right? So if he goes this direction, check here. If he goes, he tries to pull back. This is coming in. I check this and I move, move out of the way, right? Again, the idea here is to get as far away from the stick as possible, right? The idea here is to get as far away from the stick as possible. If he's going here, I'm gonna push it further away. Why? Because distance equals time. time, and time equals distance. The greater the distance, the greater the time. So the, it's gonna take him a greater distance to come back and hit me here. <coughs> And as a result of that, I'm striking every single time he's moving this way. The moment he comes out this way, he might get a hit in, right? And then now he's gonna pull this one back. I'm not gonna follow his stick hand, I'm just gonna check this hand. So from here, we're gonna go this direction, then move over, move over, move over, move over, and then check me with your other hand, boom, and then I go here. Then I even step out even further, as that means his stick is further away from me. Right? So it's always about the angles. Yes? yes sir. All right.